Okay, disclaimer first and foremost. This is not a proper view. It's just me blabbering about my motorcycle. So I got a mic and let's see if this works. So let's get started right away. Today, let's talk about this. I can, uh, I think I'll give an uh, overall or a long term sort of thing, a uh, sort of review of what I feel about this bike and how my experience has been and all that. So, this is the 2017 Duke 390, and uh, I got it close to what? It's been three months now almost. Three months, yeah, and I've done about 5,018 kilometers as the uh, Odo indicates. So what do I think? Uh, it's great. It's fabulous. This bike is just simply amazing. I mean, I wasn't really looking at a 300cc or a sub 300cc, I mean a sub 500cc motorcycle. I wanted to get myself a 600. Um, I was looking at the ER6N and the Ninja and so on and so forth. Yeah, I wanted something that would keep me entertained a little while longer. So. I wanted a 600, but that that didn't work out. I couldn't couldn't get one because of the restrictions. So the next best thing was this because I am an adrenaline junkie. So I need I need I need this shit. And I'm really happy that I got this because and because of everything. And lots of lots of 390 owners are having issues. There's a TFT screen uh, problem. There's a light flickering issue in front. Uh, I think both of them have been resolved already. Um, then a couple of leaks here and there, uh, like I think a couple of people are le leaking brake fluid and uh, so on. But I've had this for three months, I haven't had any issues whatsoever, uh, whatsoever. No oils leaking from anywhere, if you know what I mean. I've been, I'll be happy uh, with this. Everything's just right. You want to ride in the city, you can ride in the city. You want to go on highways, you can go on highways and keep up with others, I guess. If you cross 110, 115 uh, onwards, you start getting this crazy wind blast. But it's naked, so you can't really expect, expect it not to do that. That can be solved with a visor, I think. Uh, a couple of people I know who have gotten custom brackets and all made to put visors. I like the look of this, so I'm I'm not going to put that. Um, what else? What's my experience been like? Okay, so first time you sit on it, you I mean right away you realize that this is not nothing in terms of ergonomics like the previous Duke. I was I was extremely anti uh, the old Duke 390 because the riding position um, for a person like me, I mean I'm tall and broad. Uh, I'm six foot two. If that helps, uh, was it was horrible. It was just my forearms would die within maybe like five five minutes of riding. My ass would start hurting. Like it was just overall uncomfortable. It was um, for a tall person. A lot of people swear by the old Duke 390 as well. But anyways, I was anti Duke, so I was skeptical about this. But in this price range, uh, with this many features and this much power. You couldn't get anything else. Uh, you have the Yamaha R3, you have the Ninja 300. They are more expensive, considerably more expensive. Uh, this I got for I think 240, uh, 245, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, 245 um, on road with insurance and RTO and all that, all that nonsense. So, whereas the Yamaha was coming to I think uh, 310, 3 lakh 10,000 or something along those lines. Um, and it, I mean, it didn't have ABS, it didn't have slipper clutch, it didn't have, what else? It had no power, but that was at the top end. Uh, the low end, I mean, the torque on this thing is just insane. This, uh, off the bat is, it picks up faster, it reaches, it picks up really fast, it reaches 100 really fast. Uh, I don't know the exact seconds, it's just really fast. It pulls like crazy, as you can see, I'm at 4th at 80, and I can do that. So it's a splendid, splendid bike in terms of power and everything. Then in terms of my, uh, uh -huh, so I was talking about ergonomics, uh, the seating position, the seating position is so comfortable. I have not 
sat on a bike uh, that is as comfortable for tall riders. I haven't, nothing. The various Harleys, uh, the Ninjas, the Kawasaki's, all the, I mean, any other bike that I can think of right now, including probably the Enfield I just passed. Uh, I've done a six hour journey on this. Um, almost non-stop with mini breaks in between here and there but um, almost six hours no pains whatsoever the usual but getting a little sore type thing but much longer than I could do on anything else so far the riding position it's uh, the foot pegs are a little rear set but that actually makes it even more comfortable it feels it feels a little more natural riding it I'd say uh, for a tall person uh, for me other than if they're over here your legs start to cramp I think I don't know I don't really whatever so if you're tall by this don't ask don't think just go for it power power is available everywhere uh, your, I think first four gears or first three gears are a little bit shorter than the than fourth, fifth and sixth. Uh, first three go down like really fast. You have torque everywhere, you have the power range is just amazing, the power band is amazing. It's bloody light and flickable. Yes, I know it's heavier than the previous one, but um, doesn't doesn't feel like a heavy bike still, still feels light. And the handlebars uh, positioning is right, it ensures you end up keeping your back straight. So it's, 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 it's great. Gosh, I love this road. Um, sorry, off topic, but I'm on the GFR road, the Gurgaon Faridabad road. I don't really know any other good roads that I can ride around uh, in or around the city that has a good balance of decent curves and um, straightaways. You can go fast, you can corner, you can pretend to be Rossi like I do quite often. I have no clue what I'm doing, but I still do it. It's fun. It's a good road to ride on. Uh, the road's decent, except in some patches like this, as you can see. Um, scenery is beautiful. Traffic is almost always moderate, except, I mean, Sunday mornings, this place is lit up with super bikes and other bikes and trucks and cows and whatnot. If I have nowhere else to go on a Sunday, I will come here for sure. Even if it's during the week, if I just feel like getting out and clearing my mind of things or whatever. But yeah, back, back, back to the bike. It's a good bike for the city as well. Uh, people find, say that this bike heats up a lot. It does heat up, but you have to remember it's a 390cc engine producing so much power. It will heat up, but it's still nowhere close or anywhere near the 600ccs. Uh, it nowhere near that much heat. I mean, you can still ride this if you're wearing jeans. You will not feel the heat as such. Uh, the uh, heat gets directed um, sort of towards your left ankle. But if you're on a highway or something, you never feel that. It's only when you're in standstill traffic. And uh, that also, it, it's not bad. I mean, it's bearable. Um, I actually, the exhaust, uh, the sound of it, I prefer this. I, I know I'm going to get a lot of hate or love. Um, it's equally divided for this, but um, I, I, I prefer this sound. I didn't like the old 390 sound. So, oh my god. Insects. Uh, this one sounds like a mean three, uh, single cylinder. Uh, I've taken off, I have a muffler delete video as well where I took off the muffler. And from that you can make out it's loud. I mean, if given the, uh, if you unrestrict the airflow for the exhaust or put a free flow or whatever it'll sound killer and not like a auto rickshaw so one 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 um what what was i saying red lights i forget <sighs> yeah one thing is that um shit i forgot ah! uh, what else economy the fuel economy as us Indians always will, the first thing we'll ask is Bhai kitna deti hai? Mileage! Anje! So I get a mileage of, uh, what is it show? It's showing my overall mileage since the day I bought this bike till now to be 23.3. Uh, but if you ride economically, I have gotten mileages of 26, 27, which is insane um, for a bike like this. The service, how's the service? So people are very, uh, they're very mixed views about how the service is, um, as far as at least here in Delhi goes. I've tried Gurgaon, I've tried uh, the one in Sector 14 in Gurgaon, I've tried the one in Kirtinagar, I've tried the one in Vashali, 
and I fried Dwarka and Dwarka by far is my favorite um, and that's not only because they have a PS4 over there time pass bade hota hai but uh, not only for that it's it's the people there the people there are so nice service is reasonable i think my first service was 1400 my second service was also 1400 the brakes brakes are good compared to the previous one the front brake actually feels like it's doing something um super it's super good the abs is fantastic it doesn't kick in too early or uh, it kicks in just in time and of course you've got the different modes so if you want to switch it off you can switch it off if you want to use super mode where the abs is just i mean only the front abs is active and the rear one uh, your rear tire lose i mean it's not abs it'll lock up if you wanted to the back brake actually though feels a little soft i guess it's not as effective as the front one feels the suspension is on point for mixed riding you can ride it hard it's not extremely plush it absorbs bumps decently well enough it, it is harder than your regular commuters feels right if that makes any sense it doesn't feel like the bike is bouncing around anywhere or um, even during corners and even when you slam the front brake it does nose dive a little bit but uh, not 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 a lot but the slipper clutch works fantastically gearbox feels on point it's tight i mean it shifts right it it, it has that satisfying click when you shift up it doesn't have a lot of um, leeway or free space like you know those couple of gear shifters um after you shifted it into gear and you lightly tap it not with the intention of shifting up or down but just lightly tap it it has that free play this doesn't um when you downshift it has that satisfying click when you upshift it has that satisfying click uh what else what else what else what else look at that boss ah! the throttle response how could i not talk about the throttle response the right by wire works fan fantastically uh, i remember the previous one at that thing where you turn it and nothing would be happening the previous you come uh, and then suddenly there was this one point where it would just engage and take off and so that made it feel really jerky or i felt it was really jerky this one is as soon as you start turning it it starts picking up speed speed that you pick up and the way amount you turn it feels in proportion if that makes any sense ability but yeah so as you can see i've replaced the mirrors as well because i found the stock mirrors uh, as i mentioned earlier i'm broad right so the stock mirrors only came till about here and i couldn't see anything behind i could just see my shoulders plus i hated how it looked it made uh, from the front with the new drls um it made it look like an insect uh, they look like antennas or whatever so i got these bar ends well one bar end this one flew off within 5 minutes of it being put karol bag so no one safe but please excuse me just just don't don't see that 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 doesn't exist this bar isn't there that's what i feel about this bike um i love it i i love how it rides i'm really pleased with it overall I love how it handles in the city. I love the fuel economy. I love the seat in position. Um I pretty much like everything about this. Um So if you're looking for something a naked which is powerful but also you want as a daily daily rider to go to work or college or whatever and back. Um I I and you have a price point. I mean your budget is about 2.5. I I I Uh, recommend this bike without without any questions asked. It has everything going for it. I think KTM did a wonderful job with this bike. Uh, they heard the problems everyone was having with the previous one. This feels just absolutely refined. Am I still recording? Yes, I am. What more can I say? It's a good bike. It's a fabulous bike. It does everything it, you need it to do. Oh, it's hot. Ah. Oh. Huh. Delhi and I'm going to open your mirror. I honestly in a sub 3 lakh category uh, I cannot think of anything better than this. I'm going to close off with this one. This was my first vlog ever. Let me know if you liked it. Um I'd love feedback. I love getting your feedback. I mean 
this started off with more of me just um, trying to put out uh, practice my uh, video making and uh, editing skills but um, turned out I mean there are people that ended up watching the videos and they liked it and that made me happy and um, it sort of wanted me got me to want to make more videos I'd love your feedback um, so if you want me to what what you'd like me to improve oh, if you'd like me to improve um, if you'd like me to change something if there's any specific thing you'd like me to cover I'd love your opinions and feedbacks and everything um, they, they, it'll, it'll help me out it'll help me make better stuff and um, yeah that's pretty much it